I guess you guys really like fan-made accessories, huh? Well then, let's make some more. Um... Uy! Kumusta? Ako si Percy and I made 5 different accessories for 5 different hunters in Identity 5. This is what you guys asked for and I hope you guys will like these new designs. Before I start this list though, let's clear up 3 important things. Number 1. I am not an artist nor an animator in any way, shape, or form. So, if you're expecting the best art style with AAA graphics and animations, you're probably watching the wrong video. Second, I'm going to prioritize giving accessories to hunters that don't have much notable accessories available to them. So, if you're expecting a Bloody Queen or Jack the Ripper accessory in this video, you won't be seeing any of those here. Other hunters deserve some loving too. Third, this list will start with A-class accessories progressing until the final SS-class one. Basically, the list keeps getting better and better as you go deeper in this video. So if you want to see the best accessory concept I have in store, which you probably will, you're going to have to watch until the end. With all that out of the way, let's start with... Um. Number 1. Spyware. A suspicious high-tech A-class accessory for the scariest hunter out there, the Soul Weaver. Its description reads, There's a looming feeling that someone or something is lurking beneath the shadows in the corner of your room. Careful, it feels like you're being watched. Um. I propose that this accessory changes two things from base Soul Weaver. Number one, it changes the overall appearance and interaction of the web she weaves in the game. Instead of the standard spider web she hangs in between gaps, she sets and arms a deadly futuristic laser tripwire. Any survivor unfortunate enough to trigger this booby trap will get slowed, causing the tripwire to detonate and to explode. Number two, it changes the projectile she fires in the game. Instead of the boring web she spits out in the direction she's facing, she instead fires off a sleek homing missile. If the missile gets too close and comes in contact with a survivor, the missile explodes, damaging and slowing down the poor, helpless survivor. I think it's super appropriate for the Soul Weaver to have a high-tech double agent cosmetic, because her skill set fits that theme so well. This accessory can be a reference to famous spy films like James Bond and Mission Impossible when they do those laser maze scenes. NetEase could also make a futuristic high-tech skin that could pair up as the villain to Sears Recluse and Surveyor skins. And besides, she already looks like a spider. But what do you guys think? Is this an accessory worth the consideration of buying? Let me know in the comments below. Um. Number 2. Bluetooth Speaker A fun, goofy, A-class accessory for our favorite musician, the violinist. Its description reads, If you feel like your music is not loud enough, why not connect it to your portable speaker? Um. I propose that this accessory changes one thing to based violinist, and that is the carrying animation effect. Instead of tying an incapacitated survivor to a plethora of balloons like every other hunter in the game, he instead plays them a beautiful musical composition. The incapacitated survivor will be so entranced by the music that they have no other choice but to follow the violinist until they sit on a rocket chair. They snap out of this charm by struggling. I honestly think this is what the violinist's default carrying animation should be. I'm an avid believer that each hunter deserves their own custom carrying animation and rocket chair design. You shouldn't need any accessory for it. But oh well. And for the reason as to why this accessory is a Bluetooth speaker, well, I don't know. It just looks so ironic that an old classical musician carries around a portable hippie speaker. Antonio Mains, is this even an accessory that fits well with the violinist? I'll be reading your comments down below. Um. Number 3. Preserved Facehugger A horrific science fiction S-class accessory for the underappreciated evil reptilian. Its description reads, There's an unknown sentient specimen in one of these preservation jars. I wonder what it could be. Um. I propose that this accessory changes three things from base evil reptilian. 
Number one, it changes the jumping animation of the Chino. Instead of the bland jumping effect that we see in the game, when he's going to jump, a pool of alien goo ripples under his feet. When he's up in the air, some of the alien blood drips down under him. When he double jumps, additional human skulls and bones get added to add to that already edgy and gory effect. Number two, it changes the way he crashes with his crash ability. Instead of just crashing down to a target location, when he lands, a swarm of chest bursters radiate from the center of the landing spot. The swarm starts out small, but exponentially grows in size as they move away from the evil reptilian, until they disappear at max distance. Lastly, it changes his carrying animation. Instead of the generic balloon carrying animation, he instead um. extends his tail at an incapacitated survivor. He will then wrap his tail around them and carry the survivor, strangling and holding them tightly, like how pythons grip and strangle the prey. Let's be real, Lucino is a hunter that's just dying to get a Xenomorph skin. A Xenomorph, for all of you who are unfamiliar, is an extraterrestrial parasitic creature that is a prominent mascot in the Alien franchise. This cosmetic references the very peculiar life cycle of a Xenomorph, the facehugger being the baby stage and the chest burster being the teenage. Lucino mains are a rare breed, but they still deserve a very good cosmetic for their main. Will you buy this accessory if it was real? Let me know down below. Um. Number 4. Fishing Bucket A repulsive, stomach-turning S-Class accessory for the Gamekeeper. Its description reads, Even the Keeper of the Forest needs some vacation days too. Who knew fishing would be one of his hobbies? Um. I propose that this accessory changes two things from base Gamekeeper. Number 1. The Hook Effect Instead of the classic grappling hook animation, he instead readies and fires his fishing rod. Any survivor who's unfortunate enough to come in contact with the hook gets reeled in into the gamekeeper. The survivor will get slammed into the gamekeeper's body, triggering an appropriate splash animation. If the gamekeeper hits a wall or an obstacle with the rod, the same splash animation will get triggered. Number two, it will change the carrying animation. Instead of the classic balloon carrying effect, he picks up an incapacitated survivor, channels an old sea spell, and transforming the survivor into tuna. If it's time to put the survivor to a rocket chair, or if they successfully struggled their way out, they poof back into a human. This carrying animation mimics the way fishermen carries their biggest catch. Um. I'm honestly surprised that the Gamekeeper, although a part of the original Hunter roster back in Season 1, has only one notable accessory that changes his animation. By comparison, Jack the Ripper has five notable accessories. I made him an S-Class accessory just to show NetEase that the community still cares about our favorite furry tree hugger. But what do you guys think? Is this a great accessory for an otherwise underrated Hunter? I'll read your comments about it down below. Um. Number 5. Necronomicon A mysterious demonic SS class accessory for the sauropod hunter the disciple. Its description reads, Dark and ancient magic radiate from these pages. Souls are calling me to cite their names. Demons are calling me to cite their spells. Um. This accessory changes six things from base disciple. I know that's a lot, so buckle up, buckaroos. Number one, it changes the overall appearance of the cat she commands. Instead of her trusty black feline friends, she instead throws a horrific ghoul to a target location. The ghoul will start cute and small, but will grow in size as it travels farther away from Anne, gaining more monstrous qualities along the way. The size of the ghoul doesn't increase the hitbox radius of the skill though, so don't worry about that. Number 2. It changes the way the cats split into two. Instead of being lazy and just copy-pasting the model of the ghoul, the ghoul will rip itself open, but splitting itself into two smaller but distinct versions of the original ghoul. These two will then travel in opposite directions from one another. 3. It will change the way she dashes to an infected survivor. When the survivor is tagged by one of her ghouls, she will be able to dash to the survivor's place as if she's phasing in and out of reality. 
after images of Anne will be seen when she dashes to a survivor at high speed. Number four, it will change the overall model of the cross she puts in the ground. It will be changed with a classic human skull on a stick trope in demonic rituals. The ground will shake and split into two, then spits out a skull on a stick to Anne's target location. Number five, no accessory is worth calling SS class if it doesn't change the hunter's animation carrying effect. Anne will pick up an incapacitated survivor and will recite a demonic incantation. The survivor will be turned into a ghoul inside a jar. When it's time to put the survivor on a rocket chair or they manage to break free, they'll poof back into a human. Um. Lastly, this accessory will add a custom look to all of Anne's rocket chairs. They will all turn into a demon with the characteristics of a decaying crocodilian head. If the survivor is not rescued on time, the demon will shut its mouth, consuming the survivor inside before descending back to the underground. Anne has only one notable accessory that changes her animation, but the sad thing is, it's a Chinese server exclusive, so for the rest of the world, she has no notable accessories. She was released five seasons ago. NetEase, please. She definitely deserves at least one good accessory for the rest of the world to enjoy. Um. That's it. Those are five hunter accessories that I think should be added in the game as soon as possible. Videos like these take a lot of time to make, and I would appreciate it if you guys let me know that you like them. You guys know the drill? 800 likes and I'll make five more accessories for the survivors. Subscribe if you have the chance, and I'll see you all next week. Ingat!